on my recently picks f fixed PC right now, and I was originally recording and editing on a laptop, and now I've switched back to my old PC, which runs a lot better than that laptop. So, if anything in this video, quality-wise, including sound, like me talking, or the video isn't right, it's messed up, uh, don't worry about it, I will have it fixed as soon as possible, but uh, I'm probably going to need to get, like, a different mic, because this Turtle Beach mic is not going that well into my PC, so, uh, I'll have it fixed eventually. But for now, you're going to have to listen to very low game volume okay. and my annoying voice over it. Uh, well, and then when it gets fixed, you're going to hear my voice even louder. So, anyway, playing Beyond the Beef, Fallout New Vegas, my one of my personal favorite quests. Uh, so basically, there's this kid that's gone missing, and it... Well, I'm not going to spoil it for you uh, yet, but... It's in the casino known as the Ultra Lux, and basically, I'm just going to give you a non spoiler summary of it. You, this guy asks you to find his son who went missing, and as you do so, you come across some pretty sick stuff, including cannibalism. So basically, yeah, they're trying to eat the kid. So, so much for not much of a spoiler. <sighs> okay, um. So, let's see, first of all, Fallout, um, guys, uh, I said, I hinted this a little bit last video, but Fallout is basically the direction that this channel's headed, it was originally a Call of Duty channel, but I don't really want to do that anymore, uh, not as much anyway, so don't expect a whole lot more Call of Duty videos. And right here, uh, it's a pretty fun part. Um, so these guys come in and attack you, and using my sawed off shoddy, aim for the head, and the first one, the pellets, like it, I had it aimed wrong and Vats let me down, but I blast this guy and watch this. Okay, so I zoom out of bats, boom, and look where his brains land. In the toilet. That was awesome. I love... I, I really think this game has some of the best blood splatter I've ever seen in a video game. You know, the graphics aren't, like, incredible because of the map size and whatnot, but, like, the way that they have the patterns spread around and stuff, I thought that they put a lot of time into that, and a lot of games you don't see uh, as much of that. I mean... There are other games, but this one is pretty good. And right here is a sped up part where I gotta meet this guy in the steam room because that's what was on the back of that uh, reporter's or investigator's notebook. So he comes in, you talk to him, and he reveals some disturbing stuff, but you guys can read. You don't need me to talk about it. So back to what I was saying uh, Fallout, yeah, that's the direction this channel's headed. That's just the way the wind's blowing right now. Um, I've been getting a lot more praise for my call, my Fallout videos than in, than all my Call of Duty videos put together, and I've had a lot more Call of Duty videos than Fallout, so I'm probably going to stick with these for a while. Plus, there are very few people that regu regularly uh, commentate Fallout videos, so that'll be an upside, maybe get some more viewers. I'm not trying to be a hipster or anything. Uh, but plus, commentating on Fallout's a lot more fun because, well, for one, making Fallout videos in general, you control it uh, a lot more. Like, if you get killed in Call of Duty, you get killed. It's as simple as that. And if you're going 20 and 0 and then get a six death streak, yeah, it's just the way it happened. You can't really edit that out. But if I do a quest and then just completely like mess up or it bugs and stuff, I can just go to my last save and just piece it all together, which I did have to revert to a save one time in this game earlier because the game froze up in bats, so, but if the game were to freeze up in Call of Duty, it would just be completely over, so piecing things together, plus uh, montages are going to be, I'm going to make a few more of those, uh, a lot more fun in this than in Call of Duty, because of the whole... 
you know, you can, I mean, you can set up your shots, but, and it's not that hard to make, but, you know, it's a matter of what looks cool. And right here, the Chansey or Chaucer or whatever his name is gets assassinated by an assassin. Uh, my sawed off shotgun, I got a hit marker per se, because I don't know how that didn't kill him. Uh, all those to the head, but it does every now and then. But the sawed off shotgun's a great gun, uh, but only in bats, really, and only against, like, single opponents or, you know, just a few people, and it's definitely the best holdout weapon in the game. Well, one of them, anyway, because it's a shotgun pistol, so... <sighs> so, yeah, that's a pretty big bonus that you can sneak it into these hotels, plus it does a lot, it packs a really big punch, but, and it has such a high spread that and that's usually, if you aim for the head or the torso, they're going down, but that was not the case with that assassin. And because of that's is all weirded up system, if you aim slightly above the head, it's sometimes not going to kill them. It's like going to have a few pellets, like, I, I don't know, like, if they're moving, then I I'm not sure how it works, like, it's just random, it's kind of like how in Call of Duty and shotguns, you know, how they get random hit markers or with sniper rifles when you're sure that you got them in the face, but you got a hit marker, stuff like that. It's just the, there's a difference between <coughs> what's actually happening uh, through the game programming and all and what you see happening. For, so that would be a good example. And anyway, so find out that Ted's in the freezer, or... Well, I don't find that out, per I just kind of guess that, because I've played this quest before. Uh, so first thing I want to do is find the wine that they're going to deliver to all the guests and drug it so that everybody passes out. And I rock my today's physician because my medicine skill is not that high because I really don't, I, I focus on other skills and I just didn't see the need in medicine, so... Anyway, I drug the wine, I wait two hours, because you gotta wait till about seven, and then tell them to come get it, and after that, make sure I fast forward this part up to this guy, talking to him, lead him into the pantry, and then go break Ted out of the, um, freezer, but I I'll talk to, th I'll, I'll continue, uh, right now. Hold on a second. <coughs> My bad. I was sitting weirdly. Uh, so I was just... I probably should have sped this part up into the part... Uh, when you do get to the rad roach part, you tell him there's a rad roach in the pantry, and he goes into the pantry and stands in there, even though there's no rad roach in there like an idiot. And so basically you force him in there, that gives you enough time to go into the freezer, hack the computer, unlock... Uh, un yeah, unlock the door to the freezer to free Ted Gunderson, I think that's his last name, and here's one thing I do, uh, actually, you know what, I'm just going to wait, no I'm not, make sure, if you drug the wine, don't My instantly bust out, make sure the head waiter goes out, but... I kind of failed at My that um, because he needs to deliver the wine uh, so that way you're not attacked by everybody in there. And this just happened to be a weird glitch. Uh, something happens. Uh, oh my god, I suck at talking. I can't commentate. So the steam fail. Okay, so after I talk to this guy, um, I do a lot of fast forwarding because I'm waiting for this head waiter. I see him as a green tick to deliver the wine to the upstairs and then. Uh, Felipe, or whatever his name is, Philip, he will attack you. Uh, watch this, watch this, this is hilarious, okay? He's in there, I chuck a nade in there, just cause I felt like that doing it, and absolutely nothing happens. He doesn't turn hostile, and he doesn't get hit, uh, despite the fact that it was right below his feet, and then parts just randomly fly everywhere, and the game starts lagging. I, I, I mean... There's not a whole lot to complain about with bugs, because they're not really unplayable, but I've noticed, like, about seven times more bugs in this game than I did in Fallout 3, and they do get on my nerves sometimes, but 
small price to pay because this map's even bigger. And even though I waited for the head waiter to go into there, he magically turns hostile because uh, I guess he saw me or something. Goes back through the door, but fortunately it counted as him delivering the wine, so a few of the guests passed out. Maybe only a few of them can drink it. So I shoot this guy in the head and once again get. Uh, hold on. I, I can't see. I think I get a hit. Uh, I, yeah, I hit him in the head and leave him down the one bar of health. I don't know what the deal with that was. It usually blows him in one hit, but. I kill him. I go out to there and yeah uh, not a whole lot more to talk about um quest comes to an end and all that stuff i one thing i have noticed i do need to improve uh because these videos are going to be a lot longer than your average call of duty match when i do full quests or whatnot uh i'm going to need to improve my commentating because i'm i can't talk <laughs> on and on without getting distracted and talking about other things and sounding like an idiot. But anyway, uh, so af a few of the guys were passed out and I guess that counted as everybody, I don't know, but I, you, I let him out of there, apparently counted as him delivering the wine and programming stuff I do not understand uh, in this game. But I lead Ted back to his dad, and they reunite, and happy ending, woohoo. Uh, and that's the end. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though I really did another terrible job at commentating. <laughs> so, uh, thanks guys. Oh I'd appreciate God. it if you like it, or dislike it, actually. I'd rather... If you liked it, like it. If you didn't like it, don't just... Le don't just skip the video and go to a new one without disliking it, because I would honestly rather have someone dislike my video than uh, leave it be, because as weird as that may sound, I really, I like knowing that somebody actually took the time to watch my video, so I appreciate it, uh, even if you didn't like it, so yeah, I'll see you guys later, I will soon have a commentary up with maybe a friend about, uh, well, for one thing, like I said, I will not have a lot more Call of Duty videos up, but I do have one dual commentary planned, or maybe three-way commentary planned, and, like, maybe one gameplay after that, and then I'm going to take a long break and just do some every now and then until, like, Modern Warfare 3 comes out. I'm short on breath. Commentary's over. See you guys. Bye. Love you all.